Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can create a simple couch in Maya. So let's get started with that. I'm going to start off with a polygon cube. So I'm just going to drag that out in the grid, something like that. Pull it up a little bit. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And um, then I'm going to right click on that go to edge, drag select the whole thing and go to edit mesh and bevel and then I'm going to increase the segments to 4 and I'm going to leave the offset at 0 0.5 so let's see what that looks like okay it's not too bad okay now I'm gonna select that hit Control D to duplicate it and hit E to rotate and from my side view I want this to rotate Oop. wrong circle I want this to rotate to a certain angle something like that so I'm going to go to my side view hit W move that back move that up a little bit and should get something like that all right now this is obviously too high so i'm gonna hit control uh sorry hit r scale that down quite a bit and hit w and move that down again so i'm just gonna check that from my side view yeah pull it in a little bit and actually i can pull this one in a little bit as well it's a little bit too much okay and you know I'm doing this on the fly so uh, I don't have any real reference here just whatever you think looks good okay something like that okay so now we got that now we need to create the sides for the couch so I'm gonna create another cube and I'm just gonna drag that out drag that up and I'm going to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool and create one edge about there and hit Q to exit that right click on it go to face mode select face edit mesh extrude hit W and pull that out something like that okay right click on the whole thing go to edge drag select the whole thing go to edit mesh and bevel and I'm going to increase that to 4 as well and let's see uh, make that nice and soft go to about 0 0.6 okay now I'm gonna right click on that go to object mode got that selected move it over and we're gonna position that on the side here so first I'm going to position it there let's see if it looks okay from all views let's see something like that I'm gonna scale it out just a little bit and I want to give it a little bit more height something like that and select these two and pull it up a little bit okay now I'm gonna select that one hit control D I'm gonna move it over hit E to rotate it make sure you're at 90 degrees in this case 180 degrees okay and we're gonna hit W and we're gonna move that back in and from the front view that should look okay okay and actually I'm gonna 
select the whole thing and put it on the grid line like that okay so now we've got that part now next we're going to create some pillows so i'm going to go in and create another cube pull it up a little bit move that up and kind of position it on the couch something like that okay that's a good starting point scale it out just a little bit and we need to play with the settings to make sure that you know we're all aligned I'm gonna drag select the whole object sorry right click on that go to edge drag select the whole thing go to edit mesh and bevel and I'm going to increase the segments to six and you know, make that about 0 0.8 and in addition while that's selected I'm going to go to edit mesh and I'm going to insert edge loop and I'm just going to create some additional geometry drawer doesn't have to be perfect and I'll show you in a second why I'm doing this okay that looks good hit Q okay so we're gonna hit W to move that pillow over whoop right click object mode now we're gonna move it over and let's see how that works out size wise and again you know, I'm doing that without any reference so let's see how that works out so I need to position these three so I'm gonna select all three of them and I'm gonna hit R to scale that out move that one back a little move that one back a little as you can see it's still a little bit too much so I'm going to scale that one down scale that one down and scale that one down and now we're getting much closer I'm gonna hit W and move that one a little bit more to the edge that one a little bit to the edge and then we got that one in the middle okay and as you can see all three need to come down a little bit like so all right <coughs> excuse me now while these three are selected I'm going to hit control D hit E to rotate them pull them up and from a side view I need to position them correctly so I'm going to move that up move that back hit E to rotate that so it has the same angle roughly hit W to move that back and now we need to scale the size down a little bit so as you can see they're too high so I'm gonna hit R scale that down a little bit hit W move them down move them out a little bit down some more and let's see what that looks like that looks pretty good okay so now this is the basic couch now the thing with the couch is this is not a static object it's uh, people sit on it use it etc so we need to um, just set up the set a little bit so I'm gonna select that pillow and I'm gonna drag it out just a little bit and I'm going to move that one a little bit that way and we'll just move that one up just a little bit not too much just a little bit okay now <coughs> remember that I made all these sections here in the pillow the reason for that is we're going to right click on this go to vertex 
and we're going to select a bunch of them and we're just going to pull that down a little bit actually I'm going to hit the B first for soft selection now I'm just going to pull that down select a couple here we're going to do the same with this one I'm going to select a bunch of vertices just going to pull that in not too much same here vertex just going to pull that down maybe a little bit on these pillows as well got a vertex push it back a little same here got a vertex push it back a little you get the idea you know you just want to make it look used got a vertex push that back a little okay and maybe just pull up a couple of these corners just a little bit something like that okay the first one here as well we're just gonna go to vertex select the group here okay that should be fine now we're going to drag select the whole couch right click object mode sorry now I have to cancel out the B first sorry right click object mode okay now I can drag select Alright, we're going to right click, assign new material. We're just going to go with a Lambert, like so. Not too reflective, so that's okay. We're going to go to the checker box next to the color, and I'm going to select leather as a material. Now, the color is okay, but the cell size is way too big. So I'm going to crank down the cell size to about 0 0.1, roughly. And I'm going to pull down the density a little bit to about 0 0.7. So that looks OK. Let's see here. All right, got that. OK, we'll start off with that. I'm going to create a quick ground plane. And we're just going to size that up a lot something like that I'm gonna give that a color so right click assign new material Lambert and we'll just make this a uh, I don't know make it white just make that a white color okay so we're gonna put in some quick lights create light point light hit W pull that up pull that out hit control D and duplicate that so that's okay now select them both go to point light shape go to shadows and make sure you select depth map shadows so I got my material appointed here this is my Lambert and I want to have some depth to it so I'm going to select bump mapping and in bump mapping I'm going to select leather again and now I'm going to line up for my render and see what it looks like I'm going to go to my render settings and I'm going to go with mental ray quality to about one something like that and the size is HD 540 that looks okay okay let's give it a go and see if we did everything and if it looks okay
Well guys, this is uh, the couch. As you can see, the fabric looks okay. Um, hope you liked the tutorial. If you've got any questions, let me know. And uh, likes and subscriptions are appreciated. Thank you.